Welcome back to Snippet Coder and we are back with another video. In this video, we will learn how to write the unit test cases for our Flutter application. So unit tests basically are handy for verifying the behavior of a single function, method or classes. And the Flutter test package provides us the core framework for writing the unit test is. And the Flutter test package provides additional utility for testing widgets. So before starting the video, if you are new to our channel, subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. Thank you. So this is our Flutter application and in this video we will understand the uses of our unit test cases in our Flutter application. First we will go with the basic test and we understand how we can integrate the unit test in our Flutter application by doing the small and the basic testing and all. After that we will move with the advanced level of integration like how we can really use that feature in, in our real production based application also by implementing the same for the API testing and all for implementing the same with the rest api and all so here we have one class that is counter.dotfile that is a simple class file we have created and there we have two functions first one is an increment counter then we have a decrement counter and here we have the value that variable that is val variable and here in the counter we are just in the constructor we are just assigning the value of that uh, variable and after that in the increment counter we are just incrementing that uh, value with the plus one and in the decrement we have to just decrement the value with minus one and all this we will do with the help of the unit testing and all here we have the test folder inside that we have to create our test file and we have to make sure whatever the name we are giving here like unit underscore test dot dot file and we have to make sure the after underscore we have a test name because we have to tell the flutter that is this is the unit test case file and we have to make sure we have to put this underscore test here after every file. So here, first of all, we have to import here, import package flutter underscore test flutter underscore test dot dot file. This is the flutter test package, which is in our core framework of our flutter app. Then we have to create here void mean inside that we have to write our test cases and all. And for writing a test case here, we have that test and here we have to put the description here description means that this test case is belong to what and we have to give some information like this test case will be used for increment or decrement that counter and here we will put test underscore increment counter and here we have to put our functionality of the test case here we have to do three things first one is a initialize then we have our do action then we have our result initialize is like whatever a class we are using here initialize that class that is counter class we are using here counter is equal to counter and here we have to give that default value like we are giving it 10 then we have a do action do action is like whatever the function we have to call here and the action here is counter dot increment counter we have to increment the counter here and the result here the main part come where the our test case will be workable like we have to put here expect and here we have to put the actual value and the mature value actual value will be counter dot val this will be the actual value and matching value we have to give like 11 because here in the counter we are putting a 10 and we are doing the increment of the counter that means we are just incrementing the counter here by one and then we have we know that the value will be 11 so that's why we have put here 11 here we will put here semicolon so now we have to run this test case so running this test case we have to go there here we have that testing menu we have to click here here you will see if it will be red that means the test case is failed if it will be green that means the test case is passed so now we will run here because here no status coming here we will just run this one and here you can see the name of the description coming here and now we have that option to run all the test cases or we can run the single test cases also and here is the class that is unit underscore test dot dot file inside that we can create multiple test cases and when we click here it will run all the test cases inside this class but in case we have to run any specific test case for that we have to just click here 
now we will click here and let's see if it will be give us green or the red signal so here you can see we are getting here test case counter pass because we have put here 11 because the value default value we are giving at 10 it will be increment it will give us result as 11 so now let's change this value to 9 and let's see what result it will give us if i click on the play button you can see here we are getting here response as a failed because the expected value is 9 but the actual value is 11 because we increment the counter here so that's why we are getting here and here you can see we are getting here expected 9 but the actual is 11 because here we are passing a 10 and we are doing the increment but we are expecting here 9 but the actual value is 11 so that's why test case get failed here we can change this one to 11 getting the green signal for test case pass so now you can see here we are getting a green as a test case pass so in the similar way we can create one more for that decrement also we will just copy and we will paste here we will write here decrement counter decrement counter here we are passing 10 and here we have to put 9 because we know that we are decrement a counter by 1 and the expected result will be 9 here so that's why we put here 9 so now you can see here we are getting both the test cases under this unit underscore test dot dot file so here we have the option to run all the test cases at one go or we can just run the specific test case also so now let's click here to run all the test cases as at one go you can see here we are getting both the test case pass because we have put the expected value as a 9 so we are getting here expected value as a 9 only in the result so now what we are doing here we are just put the test cases in a multiple okay so now we can also do the grouping also like you have a unit test file and inside that you have a multiple functionality we can test it like if you want to make this one under the group that also we can do for that what we have to do we have to just press here enter and we will write a group and here we will put the description counter unit testing and here inside this function we will just cut both this function of the tests and we will paste here so now what we have to do we have to just go to what we have to go here in the testing so now you can see here we are getting in the group here so in case we have a multiple functionality to be test in the group that also we can do in this way our test cases will be more in the organized way so now you can see here we are having a two function here if i run this group you can see here we are getting everything pass here and that means our unit test is pass and we are getting a success here so this is the way to do the unit testing of in our flutter application in this way we have a more control on our code and we know that where we are getting failed in our classes or function or matter case we don't want to do run the application to test every functionality by application we can do in this way also it will be better and faster way to test to and to make sure the function classes we which we have created it working perfectly fine or not so now in the next example what we will do we will just do our rest api testing with our unit test cases and we will write our test case for our rest api also so that we know how we can utilize this unit test cases in our flutter application more advanced uses also so that we have a better control over code also suppose in case our server get change the apis and all but we don't want to test every functionality of the application by running application and all we just need to go through that test case by running here and we get all the success and failure in our unit test case itself so now let's move further so now we are moving to a more advanced uses of our unit testing so this is our application and here we have our eps service dot dot file and here what we are doing we are just calling this get countries and on the basis of the two parameter that is page number and the page size we are getting a result from the api so now we have to write the unit test case for this one and we have to make sure this function is giving the proper result or not and for that purpose we will write our unit test cases so what we have to do we have to just go to our test folder and there we will write country underscore test dot dot file here we have to import our package flutter underscore test slash package slash flutter underscore test dot dot file then here we have to write void main inside this we will write our test case test description we will put here test underscore 
country page size test we will name it as a country underscore page size underscore test so what we have to do in this function we will check here whatever the page size we are putting here we are getting the result in that page size or not like suppose if we are putting your page size as a 10 so whatever the data we are getting there in our response is 10 or not or is it more than 10 or is it less than 10 that we have to test here first we have to do initialize after that we have to do do action and then we have a result here here we will create the object for our api service underscore api service is equal to api service and then we have to do the action here and we have to write here because here if we go to this class we have the response as a country model so what we have to do we have to create one variable here country model we'll make it as a nullable here country model is equal to and we will put here await because we are doing async and await in this function and we will put your async here underscore api service dot dot get countries so now here we have to put here one as a page size page number in the page size we have to put it 10 and we will close here in the action we will put here expect and here we will put country model dot data dot length we will check here the whatever the data we are getting here the length is equal to 10 or not if it is equal to 10 that means this test case is passed successfully so now we'll go to our testing here and from here we will just run this function so now here you can see we are getting a page size as a 10 and we are getting here success here that means our unit test case is passed here also we can check now let's change it to 11 and now let's run this test case and let's see what we are getting now so this test case should be filled now so here you can see here expected is 11 because here we will put it 11 but the result we are getting from the server is 10 here you can see here so that means it is working perfectly fine if we put here 10 so now if we run here you can see we are getting a pass because we put the exactly same number because here we are passing the page size as a 10 and we have to make sure if we want to pass this test case we have to put here 10 only so that the result will be matched with our whatever the data we are getting from the server so that's all in this video i hope you like the video let me know if you want this type of more content i will make a more realistic type of video which will be used in your production application and that will help you to boost your productivity also because in this way if we start writing our test cases our application will not get crash anymore if there will be any issue in the api server and all we can easily return our test cases instead of just running the whole application again and again we just rerun our test case and we will make sure our all the APIs are working perfectly fine. Also, we can implement this type of unit test case in our more area also like other classes or any utility classes which we have created. So there's a many uses of this type of unit testing and all. So there are more two features like integration testing and a visit testing. If you want video on those topic also, please let me know in the comment box section. I will surely make the video on that also. I hope you like the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like, comment, share. I will come back soon with another awesome video. Thank you for watching the video.